Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Wife went to the nail salon today and card shop is right next door. So she picked me up a pack of Topps Update Jumbo Hobby. Got word from Topps that my hobby boxes should be in today. My neighbor got his yesterday. Um, so should be ripping into a hobby box soon. I did talk to Dave and Adams and they did say they were they usually wait till the last. Um, so if you order multiple releases, they'll wait till the very last um, box uh, gets released before they ship your order. So I contacted them and they said they could split my shipment into two. So they sent out my tops. Um, they sent out the tops uh, update order today so hopefully i'll get that within the next week and be able to do my jumbo hobby box as well but been dying been looking everywhere for uh for the hanger boxes um for these but it is hard to find and steel city had them um, but their price is going up they're almost like at 20 bucks um for each one the Pena debut. Hopefully we get the Pena rookie. And this one, that's definitely one of the ones I want. He's been playing like a beast. His, uh, the, it seems like the power is coming in his swing over time. Like he's getting stronger and stronger and hitting, hitting more jacks. And if that, that continues, he's going to be a pretty, a pretty great player. So looking forward to watching his career develop over the next couple years. That's uh, Brandon Mars too. I'm hoping that he develops more power as he as he goes. I think he could be a big time hitter if he can get a little bit stronger. But excited for a lot of these rookies to watch them next year. Can't wait till baseball season starts up again. Can't wait to find out what's going to be happening with the Angels in the off season. Um, I did hear, I guess they reported that Shohei Otani will not be traded, which was spectacular news, I think. Um, you know, it's, it sounded like they could have got a boatload for him, but that is, you know, there's still speculation that maybe he still could be traded um, midway through the season if things aren't looking good and we're not making the playoffs. Which would be a bummer. I saw an angel card back here. There's the Otani one that I really want. That's the Brandon Marsh debut. So that'll pair nicely. I feel like these debut cards would go good like in your collection right next to the base rookie. You know, the day they de debuted is pretty sweet. I like that on there. But I know the base rookie's the more desirable hit of the two. Austin Nola. So it doesn't look like we got the relic in here. Hopefully we get a good numbered card or something. Hopefully it's not a dead pack, but we shall see. We got lucky last time and got the auto. So I'm not expecting to get the auto again. But I do like the updates uh, release. I feel like the, the cards are pretty sweet. The guys are in you know, the, their uniforms that they should be in for the most part. Except for you know Brandon Marsh, but for the most part, they're if they started the season in that on that team, then they have that uniform, which is nice to see. But I do like um, there's the Otani like 100 home runs, and they got a couple cool cool different cards in there. Hunter Green, looking at his numbers, his numbers weren't that great, I don't think uh, this year. I've been going through a lot of the rookie cards uh, lately just to kind of put them away and, and shelve them and store them in the order um, and see who had a good year and who didn't. And I mean, I know he, Hunter Green throws gas and he's going to develop. Someone was saying he this guy was in, uh, he had like a, a, a Bowman's first card and he has a, uh, a rookie card. So I'm not sure I had to look into that, but. But we'll see. Jose Trevino. 
Cole Sands rookie. I don't know what the correlation is yet, so I don't know what cards comes before like the Wid or the Julio or anything like that, but getting down to the nitty gritty if we're gonna hit one of those guys. Obviously one of the big goals is a parallel of one of the big rookies. Um, but those are hard to hit. I've watched guys go through lots and lots of cards and, and not hit, hit a parallel rookie. So this is rookie combos. I guess that's a rookie card. It doesn't have the rookie logo on it, but rookie combos. What's good is this is a bunch of new cards that I didn't get in my last box or in my last pack. So pumped about that. Reed Detmers. So I got my two angels. Their debut cards. 8-1-21. Ryan Yarbrough. So it doesn't look like we're getting a Julio or a Wit, but let's see what we got. Looks like we got a gold foil back here. Let's see who our gold foil is. It's gonna be a rookie. So we did get a rookie parallel, just not the one we want. Not sure how this guy did. Ryland Bannon. And let's see, we'll go off the back. Royce Lewis, rookie. Parallel card. These all-star picks are pretty sweet. Garrett Cole, they're almost like short print picks. I do like these inserts too. These are a cool insert. We have the Paragons of the Postseason. Lou Brock. something about them in the back. I'll have to read that afterwards. And our last card, it is kind of thick. Did we get, we did get a numbered to 50. We got one of the relics. I did not think we'd get a relic out of this pack, but it is pretty thin. These relics are pretty thin, so. Kind of hard to tell that they're in there, but cool. Number to 50, Joey Votto. So not a bad relic there. We didn't get any of the big rookies. We got, I mean, the, we got the debut Pena. Um, the debut Pena out of there, but none of the big rookie base cards, unfortunately. So looking forward to getting into my uh, hobby box. Hopefully we'll get our base rookie cards out of there. Anyways, thank you for watching, you guys. That's the vid. I will be on again pretty soon because my hobby box should be in today. All right, hope you guys are all having some luck out there in your card opening, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.